Today on Moving Day, we meet two graduate teachers who've fallen behind on their homework. It's a nightmare. This whole place, we've got a lot to do. And get a black mark for cleanliness. Now, I mean, just look at all this. Oh. Welcome to Moving Day. Today we come to the town of Bognor Regis on the south coast. But we're not here to holiday or to retire, are we, Sal? Hardly. Oh no, we're here to help two young ladies leave the student lifestyle behind them and embrace all that is teaching. Oh yes, in just three days' time, the ladies are moving from the student house that they've shared for the last year or so into somewhere a lot more grown up a few miles down the coast. Let's go meet them, Sal. Let's do it. Meet Rachel 21 and Gemma 23. They've just graduated as primary school teachers from Chichester University. Currently, they're still living in rather grand student digs. Both of them have recently obtained teaching posts in nearby Worthing. So they've decided to move together to a place closer to work with their pet hamster, Linford. It's time for them to make the massive leap from students to young professionals. Hello. Hello there. Hi. Rachel. 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 Hello. 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 Please come, come in. in. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, washing yeah. machine in the lounge. Oh, it's the washing yeah? machine. It's it's very, very, very exciting. Are you too organised? Come on. No, no, not in the slightest. We've got three days, and, and we haven't really started. Nothing packing. is packed at all. Well, obviously not organised, but very honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a good sign in a school yes. teacher. Isn't it? <laughs> it's only to have a look and see how ready you are. Good luck. So if you've okay. got any awkward bits. Bite your way through the junk. Okay, I'll get through. Pass me through. Pass me through. Parting of the wish. Shall we go and take a seat, girls? Yeah. Let's relax and have a chat. Why not? I like your piano. And look at this on the wall. A sign do list. that we're in a teacher's house. Now, this is a really big house. How have you been using the space in this house? Well, I've kind of taken over the room next door and kind of made it my study. So I've got this gigantic room, which is full of all my work stuff. Now, what do I know about this house already? It's an old house. It's got nice big rooms, especially like this one. And the girls are teachers. Evidence of this, loads of box files all over the place, loads of books everywhere. This is a big room, it's about 18 foot square, and yet every single inch of it is taken up. We've got a home office here, not a space on the desk at all. Another desk, not an inch of space on it as well. This could be such a nice room if you decluttered it. Gemma's room, a little bit of a shrine here to her childhood. No packing done yet. They're going to be moving really soon, stuff like this. All these drawers should all be sorted out by now. Got a lot of work to cut out. Into the scullery room here. Whew, absolutely tons of food stored up here. All open storage, not the most attractive. About the house being old period features, look at this. This was the old maid service bell. Ring that and you'll be looked after. Sally, two sugars please. Let's check out upstairs. I've got my bedroom that's got everything in it, so I've just kind of um, moved a few boxes of books and folders and things into other people's bedrooms <laughs> as they've <laughs> left, and there's things in corners of other rooms and all sorts of things all over the place, really. To another bedroom, absolutely no packing started in here whatsoever. In fact, it even looks like a jumble sale. Look at all these cuddly toys. These could really be boxed up, but they haven't forgot that Sal and I are coming. Look, packing, packing, moving day. True teacher planning. That's what it's all about here. Another two rooms. Now, I know that two of the girls have moved out. These rooms are now empty, but evidence of them being used as useful storage. More books, more folders, computer station and the Hoover. Doesn't look like they've used that recently, if I can say so. Now you're downsizing, aren't you? Quite a lot, yes. Yes, we're now going to a two-bedroom terraced house. So, um, a bit of compacting needing to happen, throwing a lot of stuff yeah. out. It's odd bits and pieces that you kind of you find. You think that will probably be useful. We keep it one day, just in case. I have one crutch, in case it might be useful in the classroom. You never know. What would that be useful for? I haven't thought of a use yet, but there might be one. I don't know. I'm worried about you two. I'm feeling that perhaps you are the same age as the people who teach. Yes. yes. <laughs> Why we're in the classroom and not out in the real world. <laughs> 
Not bad for a student pad, eh? Well, Sal, beauty's only skin deep with this place. Really? What about all their stuff? Are they planned? Are they organised for the move? It looks like a car boot sale. Nothing sorted. Oh, that's a disaster. Well, it looks like we'll have to help them make some tough decluttering decisions. I think so, and I'm worried about all this stuff fitting into the new place. I've got to go and make sure it's going to fit. Well, let's not forget, they're no longer students. They're now professionals. Let's make it so. First stop, Gemma's study. Right, Gemma, let's start a bit of decluttering. Good. This is what room exactly? This is my study stroke bomb site. <laughs> Talk me through it as if I was one of your five year old pupils. Okay, right. Over here, we have a couple of kind of useful books down there. There are my puppets in there, for finger puppets for kind of more role play stuff. Here, we've got my desk area. Um, next to the desk is more teaching stuff. That is my dumping ground. Anything that I don't have a clue what to do with, it goes on the desk. I think what we need to do is get some sense of order. We'll have three kinds of boxes. Okay. A box for all your files and things that we still haven't packed yet. Yeah. There'll be a box for the desk area. And the third box will mark up for the school. Let's get on with it. I'm liking it. Okay, I'll save for some fresh air. I'll see you in a second. Get some boxes. <laughs> oh, God's sake. You see, that's what happens. That's what you've done to me with this task. It's a nightmare. I'm getting boxes and fresh air. So this is going to be the new place it then? It is the new house, yes. Well, first things first, very, very different from the other one. A lot different, yes. Smaller. That's one thing that does worry me, actually, how you're going to fit all of your yeah. stuff, because I don't know where you've got it all from, <laughs> but you've got to fit it all into a two-bed house. Yes. Do you think that's going to work? No. <laughs> Not at the moment. We've got to do a lot of sorting out before we can move in, I think. Hmm. I think we should have a little look inside and uh, see if everything is going to yes. fit. After Let's... you. Whoa. Still got a few period features in here, haven't you? <laughs> nice fireplace. Um, what are you going to use this room for then? Um, this is going to be our living room, I think, because of the, the size of it and the light and then the TV area in the corner as well. <laughs> and we're going to use this room here as This is going to be our study room. Now, the thing that worries me is that obviously you had all that stuff in the last study. Yes. It was a massive room. How are you going to condense everything into here? Um, a lot of the stuff that we've got can actually go into school, um, but we are going to need a lot of space, maybe some shelving units somewhere. The thing is really just about making a mark on all that clutter. Yes. You've got to start turning things around. Now, I know Gemma's back there with Sally at the moment. She is. She's going to find it hard. She's got a lot of stuff that she doesn't want to get rid of, but what, she's got to. <laughs> what's going to be harder is Sally's a really hard taskmaster. <laughs> she's not going to like it. <laughs> she'll be making her throw away most of the stuff. Where should we start? A deep breath, come on. Um, easy area over here, surely, yeah? It looks easy, doesn't it? Yes. Let's go! <laughs> We're keeping all these files. So, right? first to be boxed up are Gemma's essential files. Excellent packing. Then there's a mountain great of old fun. coursework to chuck out. It's great fun, isn't it? Leaving just the school stuff to pack. Another box bites the dust. Fantastic. I almost forgot as well, wait to this, Gemma, to make the packing experience all the more fun for you and Rachel. I have got colourful sticky labels for you to put on the boxes. How amazing is that? <laughs> that is so exciting. <gasps> Come in my bedroom and be the playroom because it's pink. Yeah, if you, if you really want it, you can really have it. Thank That's you. for you. How Great. Exciting. I tell you what, your lessons at school must be a blast. <laughs> they are. Just back from the new house, and I found a bit of DIY that's been giving Rachel nightmares. So, Rachel, what's the score with this? Um, I was asleep one night last year sometime, and um, the shelf just fell off the wall. Had all my CDs on it, crashed down, woke me up. Quite scared, really. <laughs> but just looking at this shelf here, the bracket bit for it... Well, there we go. <laughs> it's out. <laughs> well, listen, I'll do a deal. I'll fix these back on and uh, sort it out for you if you want to go and help carry on with the decluttering Fabulous. thank again. you very much. No problem. Sort this out. We'll be very, very straightforward indeed. Just remove the old screws. I'm re-drilling the holes with a slightly larger bit so I can use larger and longer screws. This will make it all the more sturdy for the next gang of student tenants. There we go. All sorted. Which means I can get in there for a quick examination. OK, this is my room. Take your life in your hands coming in here a bit, really. I could <laughs> not live like this. Look at the shelves. I couldn't even sleep in that bed. Looking over there is my view. It would just kill me. Do you need to have all these little things? No, toys, I don't need them all. So, decision time, girl. You're a young professional now. Time to cull the cuddly toy collection. 
Really? Yeah. That's a big Could decision be, for you. It is a big decision. There's the beautiful <laughs> baby. This is big and unattractive, really. My parents bought me that for my 21st birthday. I'm so sorry, parental. <laughs> Don't worry, this lot will be welcomed with open arms by kids at the local hospital. Job well done. Top marks the teacher. Gavin, total carnage in there like you've never seen before. I have done the best decluttering I could possibly do. But please, tell me the new house. It's huge. Sal, two of their new places will fit into one of these places. I it's knew tiny. it. Tiny. I can't cope. The whole of Gemma's office could fit into the house alone. Never mind useful things like beds and all the rest of it. Well, I've had a word with Rachel. She's pumped, she's energetic, she's going to turn over the new leaf and start a new professional life. What do you reckon, good move or bad move? <laughs> it's an I don't know kind of move. It's the night before moving day and Gemma and Rachel have a few pre-move nerves. I think tomorrow is going to be such a long, stressful, busy day. And when everybody's gone, we're just going to sit down on the sofa and probably cry because we're having to be grown up and be left by ourselves. It definitely will be an end of an era. We're um, leaving student life behind and becoming adults, which is a little bit scary, actually. Um, but... It, it, it was going to happen. Yes. Yeah. Coming up, everything. Gemma and Rachel struggle with some basic physics. So everything we got out of my office and my room back in our old house got a bit in here. Right, number one, it's physically impossible. Yes. Number two, where are you going to eat? And they need a lesson in carpentry. <laughs> it's all going wrong. <laughs> it's moving day morning here in sunny Bognor Regis for friends and teachers-to-be Rachel and Gemma. Their mums and dads, a brother and a friend, a whole troop of them stayed here last night and I'm dying to see exactly what kind of impact they've made on the house of trauma. Well, Sal, it's a self-move today, so hopefully all those extra pairs of hands will make light work of it. Let's hope so. Oh, good morning, everyone. Hey, morning. Guys. How are we? Rachel, how are you? Fine, thank you. Yes, this is my mum, Mrs. Brenda, and my dad, Michael. Hi, Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Was everything packed up when you got here? No. No way. <laughs> you had your... Gotcha. Yeah, We've done office. a lot. We had done a lot, yeah. but, but not right. everything. OK, well, I understand you've got loads of help today, so I'm going to meet the others and see how they're getting on, hopefully better than this. OK. <laughs> Have you ever seen so much stuff in your life? I know. Um, not since Rachel actually moved out of home, no. <laughs> well, she left a trail of disaster there as well. <laughs> well, all over most of South East England, really, yeah. 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 Oof, no-one's in here apart from loads of space. This looks like a completely different room. I didn't even know it had a floor. And what's with this tiara today? Are you in some kind of angelic mood? I'm always angelic. <laughs> um, we were tidying up and we found two exciting things, one of which is the tiara that I'm wearing. And, well, you'll have to wait and see what Gemma's wearing. Gemma, how are you doing? Hello. Look at this really little good. wings you've got on there. Are you all ready for the move today? I am. I'm really excited about it. Pumped, ready. decluttered. Yes. Room's empty, ready to go. OK, these must be your parents. Yep. Was a room like this at home when she used to live at home? Uh, no, nothing like as bad as this, okay. I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> she might be telling a few white lies there. <laughs> really? It's just covering it up yeah. a little bit. Everyone's positive about this? Yep, ready to go. <laughs> New image, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Also helping out are Rachel's brother Simon and his mate Phil, with what Rachel's dad taking charge of packing the van. Gemma's mum's getting busy in the bathroom. It's a real team effort today. I wonder if they actually noticed the dirt. Probably not. And she's finding it all a bit hair-raising. <laughs> now, I mean, just look at all this. Oh, that's... With an army of family helpers, we're soon ready to hit the road. Girls, what a transformation in here. We got there. In oh, the end, no. we made it. Now this is you going to the next stage yeah. Yeah. as professionals, yeah. starting a new live job. Our own classroom would be great. <laughs> Are you ready for it, girls? Yes. yes. Good. <laughs> OK, well, I think that you two should lead the troops out, since okay. you're the teachers. Get your class in order Go and get everyone and a roll together. call. Yes, okay. take the register. I love that. <laughs> right, let's go, let's girls. girls. Come on. Outside, it's a moving day Grand Prix, and they're ready on the grid for the off. Right, Rachel, back of the car's loaded. In yep. you get. We're almost ready to roll. David here looks like a pretty full car you've got here, mate. Are you all ready for it? Yep. OK, who's next? It's Brenda in the green car, number three on the grid. You all set to go? Certainly. Over to you, Sally. How are we looking at the front of the grid? Thanking you, Gavin. Second from the front in the big white truck. It's Michael and the boys. Good luck to you. But in pole position, there can only be one woman to lead the troops. It's Angel Gemma. Yay! Go, girl, you can do it. I can. OK, everyone, you can start up your engines. See you at the new house. And they're 
off and the driver pulls away comfortably within local speed restrictions. It's the red car followed by the moving day van waving at So Gemma and Rachel's student days are over. They were paying just £41 each per week, including bills for their spacious digs. Now they'll be paying £75 each a week, not including bills, for this two-up, two-down terrace in Worthing. Hi, how's it going? Hello. We're unpacking. already unpacking. You're in the door. Can we take some but stuff? Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Nice to see this time. We've created a monster. <laughs> OK, y'all. This is our new lounge. Nice door. Look at that. It's lovely. Cute. Doors. It is lovely. This is a nice room as well. Look yeah, it. this is going to be our study room. Everything that we got out of my office and my room back in, in our old house got to fit in here. Right, number one, it's physically impossible. Yes. Number two, where are you going to eat? Because there's um, not any room in the kitchen. Well, we're hoping to get um, a fold away table. Right, there's the bathroom there, guys, if you oh, need well, it. It's well, okay. Well, and this yes. is my home. And all the big room. Um, this is much bigger. How did you get the best room? Because Gemma's lovely and she said I could have it. The house is lovely. It is. It is. We like it. It's going to be fabulous. But what about round the back? Mm. Girls? That little garden. I know. It's a, it's a nice, cute little space out here. It's just looking a little bit sad. It's isn't looking it? a bit tired. Yeah, I think we need shabby, to do something. It? it needs a bit of tidying and a bit of spark. I think that's Very exactly dusty. what it needs. <laughs> exactly. Right, you carry on with your unpacking, and I'll deal with the garden, get my stuff in. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you. All right. Not that I'm a great <laughs> gardener, but um, I'll be <laughs> able to do something. With it. Yeah. Time to knuckle down to the unpacking, stacking, and cleaning. Oh, nicely done. Oh. Now things are starting to take shape in there, but it's still a bit chaotic and there's not room to swing a cat, let alone poor old Linford. Now, the uh, main thing for me to do today is sort out their home office. So I've got somewhere to work from and somewhere to study from. So let me take you into my home office, where I've already been very busy indeed. Here we go. Hello, Dom, how are you doing? Right, yeah. Usual, please. Certainly, there we go. No, 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 the other oh, usual. The other one. Thank you very much. Right, this is where the work has started in the form of storage and desk solutions. And this is going to be a cube unit, flat packed, light wood finish, very easy to assemble, but loads and loads of bits. So once we've got this done, we can get that over to the house. Then we've got a couple of desks, one each for them as well. So I'm going to be here for about another hour and a half for three or four more beers. Catch you later. This garden has just been neglected, really, but someone at some stage has cared deeply for it because they've planted bluebells right across these borders. These are the bluebells. They've died for now, but that's all right because underneath there'll be plenty of bulbs and next season they'll reflower beautifully. It's also what someone has done. They've put lots of wood chip down, which stops the weeds from coming up. Not many weeds here, but over there I can see a few sneaking up and uh, I'll have to pull them out. These old bluebell stands are easy to get rid of and so are the weeds. And a quick spray of weed killer on the paving should keep things nice and tidy. While the flat pack project in my pub workshop is coming along, our young professionals are making a stab at putting a couple of coffee tables together. <laughs> it's all going wrong! <laughs> Come on, look, look. you can't let this beat you. <laughs> We can deal with a whole class of seven-year-olds. <laughs> we can deal with a piece of wood. <laughs> and the garden is definitely looking much more inviting after my super quick makeover. Now, Rosamond, you've made absolutely fantastic progress in the kitchen so far. Really good job. Tell me exactly what you've done. Well, we cleaned all the inside of the cupboards. Plates in this cupboard, and hamster food in this cupboard. Now, I noticed that you haven't put anything in this cupboard here no. yet. Look at it. Grotty or what? So what we need to do is put some nice covering on. So, nothing cheaper than easier. There's some really nice wrapping paper. Here. If we then put tomato ketchup on and it all goes squidgy, edgy, horrible, we just take that and replace the paper. A big improvement on the student kitchen. After a few finishing touches, it's time to say cheerio to all the family. Nice. Boys, thank you so much. It's right. been amazing. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's fantastic. I'm so pleased for you both. I really am. 
One room really? in the house that looks good. Yeah. It's <laughs> and it's really homely. It is yeah. already. You yeah. know, you've had so much yeah. help to do with all your family members. It's been fabulous. Oh, no. We couldn't have done it without them. No way. Actually, girls, we've got a surprise for you. There's another room in the house that looks good. Well, the Home Office hasn't beaten me. This is a room makeover. This is ready for two would-be teachers to become true professionals. Storage-wise, tons at the back here with a cube unit, a desk each, loads of room. They can't overflow from this, but they better keep it tidy or I'll be back. And I'll be in detention. <laughs> right, I want you to push the door open and see what we've done for you. Okay. okay. On three. One, two, three. He made this all for you. Thank you so wow. much. I'm impressed. Very yeah. impressed. Yeah. How professional does this look? Really? Thank it's fabulous. It is amazing. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Good luck Good to you luck. girls. Thank you so Thank much. You. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been lovely. Well, that's it from today's exciting <laughs> move from Bognor Regis to Worthing. Now, if you're about to move house, we wish you all the luck in the world. And we strongly advise that you check out our website. It is itv.com slash moving day. Lots of tips there for you. So from Gemma, Rachel, Sally, myself, <laughs> goodbye oh, and jazz hands. Oh, jazz hands. Yeah. Since moving day, the girls claim to be keeping the house clean and tidy. They've even christened their vacuum cleaner Douglas.